Hello, hello, YouTube. Yama des. All right, the fine time has finally come. I can't even speak correctly, but yes, here we are. So today we are going to go fight the end dragon finally, and hopefully, yeah, we'll get ourselves some goodies and. We'll finally free Minecraft of the terrible end dragon. But anyways, let's take a look at some of the stuff we'll be creating and using. And first off, yes, uh, you can tell I have a lot of obsidian and I have enders because we're making ender chests. So if you do not know, ender chests are uh, pretty much just allow you to use uh, your any resources you put inside anywhere you open the same ender chest. So say I would put this stuff in, and if I were to put an ender chest somewhere else, I could use that there. But yes, so as far as the um, what I will be putting in, uh, I'm putting in a couple of beds because those are some ways you could use to damage the end dragon. But yes, you need the, I need a five end, uh, eye of enders to fill in that little portal. Um, you can use uh, ender pearls to teleport around just while you're fighting. Um, a pumpkin head is also good, a carved pumpkin head, let me add, is good to when you're fighting just so you don't have to look at the enderman. Some food obviously, arrows, and the glass bottles, and just pretty much three stacks of whatever building material and a water bucket. And yeah, so that's pretty much uh, as far as the stuff I have on me. I do want to, oh yeah, I guess we also, do you want to take a bow? And I, the reason why I've been holding off on uh, fighting a dragon is because I wanted to do a video also on like just the most, most uh, the stacked tools you could have. And so with the bow, it's going to be a power five, punch two is better, or is the next one up. But flame, unbreaking three, and infinity. And infinity can also be switched for mending, but I would recommend an infinity since that's just better. And as for the sword, this sword is pretty much the best it can be. So knockback two, unbreaking three, mending, smite five, looting three, fire aspect two, and sweeping edge. So smite can also be changed for bane of arthropods or sharpness, but smite is uh, better against the undead. And I think sharpness is just good overall, but obviously with their pickaxe, you know, efficiency 5 and unbreaking, mending and all that good stuff. But armor. So I have been grinding out my armor. And honestly, this is a little bit overkill if you're going to be finding the Ender Dragon. But yes, fire protection, aqua affinity, mending thorns 3, unbreaking 3, and respiration 3. So that is a stack of um, enchantments you can get. And there are different kinds of protections you can get. I have fire protection on my helmet, which obviously has a name entails. And but the basic one is just protection four. And I have that on the rest of my armors. But yeah, so diamond leggings and chest plate are the same. But the boots are what you can add a few more different uh, enchantments, such as the depth strider three and the feather falling four. But yeah, so everything will have unbreaking three or um, mending. And that's pretty much it. And oh, thorns as well. But yeah, so we're also going to grab a couple of potions. Um, I do have some stuff in the potion little Japanese star style bar or izakaya that we built. And so let's head there really quick. And I just wanted to explain some of the potions um, that we will be making. And so. Yeah, here we go. I did, <laughs> uh, yeah, as you can tell, I've been grinding a lot of stuff, but, um, yeah, so let's go ahead. Revstone, Mega Cream, Sugar, and Blaze Powder. Oh, and we can fix it later. So, yeah, so first you want to have is Awkward Potions, and you should put a bottle of water with a um, Nether Wart. But right now we are going to be using Mega Creams and creating Fire Resistance Potion. Um... I'll be honest, I don't think uh, fire resistance helps that much when fighting the nether dragon, or the end dragon. The end dragon does spit out, um, like a chemical fire is the best way to explain it, like a little dragon's breath is what it's going to be called. But yeah, so once you have that, you can use redstone, is going to increase the time. So right now you can see it's three minutes, but if you also use uh, glowstone dust instead, it'll like create it to level two which has like better resistance or better strength. For example, if it was strength, it'd be strength too, but for fire resistance, it just increases the time. So it went three minutes to eight minutes. Uh, we won't be using the fire resistance potions, but I just had the magma cream, so I thought I'd show it out. 
Okay, but what we do want is this blaze powder to create a strength potion. And so our strength potion is going to help us a lot in our ender dra or the end dragon fight. Just to give us a little bit of more damage while we're um, decking it out with the dragon, I guess you can say. But yeah, let's see. Just about done. And there you go. So yeah, you can see the damage applied is plus three. And that's supposed to strength, but if we go ahead and throw in some glow and dust, that'll make it a potion of strength too, and I believe it doubles the attack damage. Um, but yeah, so we'll be using the potion of strength too, and then we'll even probably just do a, probably the swiftness one. Um, I don't have a gas tier, so I can't do regen or the pla or the membranes, so that's unfortunate for slow falling. Slow falling will definitely help you a lot if you are fighting the end dragon. I just uh, haven't had the opportunities, or I guess really the time to grind it out, I guess. But which is fine. Uh, I mean, it's not. I don't think honestly with what I'm going in with, carrying as far as armor and tools and weapons with the end dragon it's a bit overkill like you really don't need to deck out and fully have your armor enchanted and all your if anything just have a sword and um your bow power yeah but okay so yeah if you push sugar as a potion of swiftness we'll put in a redstone to increase the time on that as well but yeah, so um, as far as this uh, end dragon fights goes, I'm really excited. I am not gonna lie, I've not fought the end dragon in quite a while, so hopefully it'll go well. And let's see, so yeah, so all those, all these, oh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. But I guess with the this little cheat sheet that I have, I got it off the vanilla tweaks. But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for potion stuff right now. I'm going to finish creating some more potions of strength or potions of swiftness. And once I've gotten all of those potions all figured out and ready to go, I'll be back with what we are going to take to fight with the end dragon with. Alright, so here we are with our ready potions to take on the end dragon and i didn't uh, so yeah i'm gonna leave the potions of fire resistance because i don't think that helps and yeah so now we have our potions i explained all of our armor as well as i guess like enchantments go i think we're just about ready so yeah let me go ahead and put my armor on and yeah you can just click there okay so yeah let's go ahead and make our way into the nether and we'll go fight this dragon and get some ourselves some goodies. And wait, I totally forgot. I need to take my end chest with me. Yep. Okay. But now let's go. Okay. Now we now that we can take our ender chest. Now let's head into the Nether. And I'm gonna probably put an ender chest, one in our Nether hub, and another one at the stronghold. But wow, what is going on here? Jeez, Louise. Okay. Yes, I love our nether hub, by the way. It turned out really wonderful, and I love the atmosphere that brings. But, yeah, man, so much is going on. Okay, let's put our ender chest here, and let's open it, and yeah, everything's still there. Okay, so I want to make my way over to the stronghold ender, or, yeah, the portal, and I'll be back once I am in the stronghold for you guys. Alright, so here we are in the stronghold and we are about to fight the end dragon once i set this down let's go ahead and put a bed here for a spawn point just in case and we'll put one more chest in the actual net or in the end okay so now let's organize ourselves a little bit take our torches you don't need scaffolding or the hoe or the axe or two shovels or a map for that matter and we want our silk touch so let's leave that and let's get organized here don't need a clock as well do you need a water bucket and do you need meat and our ender chest and our potions okay let's also take a couple of ender pearls the golden apple if we need it and some glass bottles for the dragon's breath and our stacks of that, our white beds, if we do want to use. So, yeah, I don't. I'll be honest. I don't know if we we'll use the beds, but okay. I want to organize a little bit more. 
But a bet is a good way to do damage to the dragon if you would like. Um, I don't know how well I'll use it just because the bow I have is pretty strong. Um, and I think, yeah, all of our armor, we're good. And we've got our gear, our potions, our blocks. All right, this is it, guys. Time to go ahead and put our little eyeballs in here. And there we go. Okay, this is it. Here we are. Now we'll get ready. Right, get ready, set, go. And okay, I'm hoping that we have a good spawn platform. If not, it's this is gonna suck a little bit. Okay. Yikes. Wow. Yep. Disgusting. Uh, this sucks. So we, <laughs> this is a, not a great spawn area. I won't lie. Uh, preferably it'd be better if it was on the island, like in the ground or something like that. But here we are just, uh, out in the middle of nowhere above the void. That sucks. Okay. So let's go ahead and maybe even throw on our, oh no, I swear I didn't look. Please stop. Oh no. I can't place water too. What is going on? Please leave me alone. Okay, there we go. So yeah, if you do aggro one of these guys, the Enderman, just go ahead and throw a bucket of water down. But yeah, you can see the dragon. And we gotta first take care of this guy. Um, this sucks. Uh, really wonderful. Oh, what a lovely start to our fight. Nothing better than spawning over the void and having to fight Enderman. But yeah, you can see the dragon there. And I totally forgot. A potion of uh, what is it? Night seeing or yeah, night vision. Yeah, would have probably definitely been pretty good to use. Um, yeah. So you can see on the top of the towers uh, that every time. Okay, am I still? Holy crap! This is this is terrible. Oh my gosh! This is instantly regret. This is regret. Get out of here. So yeah, as you can see, as a dragon flies around these towers, these obsidian towers, it is getting a little beam, I guess you could call it. So those beams are actually healing the dragon. So fighting the dragon, I guess, comes in two phases. Phase one is trying to destroy these little, um, I guess you beam things, you can call them. Uh, end crystals is what they are, but... Oh shoot, I totally forgot to put water. Um, anyways, eh, it's fine. Okay, um, so yeah, so you want to destroy these end crystals so that the ender dragon does not regen its health while you're fighting it. So that is phase one. You definitely want to just try and tackle these um, towers with the end crystals on them as fast as you can. And also be careful when you're uh, building up like this. The ender dragon will fly, can fly through blocks, and so. Just a heads up, let's go ahead and hit that. So yeah, you can physically hit it with your pick, or even your fist like that, and there we go. Actually, do the, do the water jump. Ooh, the dragon's close too. And my health, wow. Um, let's go ahead and eat. But yeah, so now what we need to do is take our arrow, our bow and arrow, and destroy them if we have the aim. Like there, there you go, and I can't see that one. Oh, okay yep there we go so if you saw that that is the dragon's breath pretty much and i forgot we need to even drink our potion ah uh, i guess spawning on that little void thing really made me freak out i should have ah uh, suck you know what we'll take the pumpkin off too it's not helping us um let's go ahead and just keep uh firing away and I will explain the dragon's breath. Um, so you can take a bottle and then, yes, yeah, you can see it. If you have an empty glass bottle, you are free to just um, collect as much as you can. And let's see. Wow, this is, I'm not gonna lie, these towers seem really high up you know, in this, uh, in this world. Man, maybe I'm just trash, I don't, okay, there we go. Oh, yes, okay, so let's keep going, let's keep fighting, and let's keep shooting at these little end crystals, and hopefully, um, yeah, we'll be able to take it out, and let's see, I, jeez, man, this is nuts, so, uh, one thing I'm trying to do here is, and actually, that's not going to work, so one thing that does actually, can try to do, is create a little shelf on these little pillars, if you do aggro a, um, enderman, just because the Endermen are three tall high, they can't necessarily get to you if you are um, 
under something that's uh, two blocks high, if that makes sense. So if you create a little shelf. And gosh, uh, there we go. So yeah, as you can see, the dragon's resting here. So you could get a couple of packs of people. I think it's still... Yeah, it's still getting health from here. So there, just be, there would be no point in um, attacking the dragon while it's playing. Or just, there we go. So yeah, if you can see that, um, it did take a little bit of damage if it was connected to the crystal. And what am I? Jeez Louise. Okay, yeah, this is uh, going wonderfully. There we go. And gosh dang, son. Okay, uh, you, can, you can even see all those arrows that are missing, but let's get one, please. Holy crap, this is... Uh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, if the Ender Dragon is uh, connected to an End Crystal, you're getting uh, health back up, and you hit it, it will, um, it will take damage. So yeah, let's go ahead and collect some more of our... Uh, Dragon's Breath, and I think that might be it. Okay. Ooh, okay, so I think that's it. Uh, that should be all of the crystals. I'm not seeing that. And we act. Okay, what is with the water? I. Okay, this is crazy. This is nuts. Man, man, I, you. Okay, actually, you know, having the armor that we do have right now probably isn't that bad of a thing. Um, okay, and, um, you probably, <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, you probably won't have a shelf too wide, oh, and, yeah, yeah, so, gosh dang, just we're getting ganged up everywhere, so, uh, when the ender dragon does fly you, you can use the ender pearls to, like, dodge it, break its angles, uh, I guess if you want to <laughs> talk about it like that. But yeah, so now that the end crystals are gone, let's take a couple of pot shots. And yeah, so you can see that the bow and arrow does quite a bit of really good damage to it. Um, I definitely would recommend fighting that way. Let's go ahead and drink another potion of strength. Um, and swiftness as well. And we'll just continue to keep fighting it, I guess. But yeah, like I was saying, the bone arrow probably does a lot of good damage. It just, just jukes a lot. Oh, and then also, when you see the dragon start doing this little dance of like uh, purple, that means it will come down. And uh, once it does come down, you cannot hit it with the arrow. What? Uh, I can't hit it. Okay, I can't hit it. Okay. So I. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I would also recommend, uh, if you are going to try and attack it, attack it from behind. I don't know what the hitbox was there, I should have definitely been hitting it, but for some reason, if you are fighting against the head, he's just going to spit out. Oh my gosh, what the? The legs? No? How am I supposed to hit it? I thought it was... Yeah, who knows? Uh, let's see. Oh, keep back. So yeah, so I'm supposed to hit it. Okay, uh, you know what? Just, just keep hitting, and unless you, until you see red, keep hitting him like that. Uh, let's go ahead. It's flying away. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, that's probably the best strat. Hit it as much as you can when it's on, coming on its way down. Um, that will damage it quite a bit, and then once it does start, you know, resting on this little perch, um, you just run up to it and just hit it as much as you can with your sword um, and our potions are already out so let's take a few more and yeah okay this is this is fun this is totally fun all right I'm gonna keep taking pot shots at it and I'm gonna be back once we're getting it down to a good you know probably health that I can start uh, filming again oh but like this this is what I'm talking about so See when it's flying down, you don't even have to charge your bow up all the way, you just literally just take really light until what is this hitbox? Lord, okay. Anyways, okay.
Yeah, we're getting close. It's less than half now, so I'm going to be, I'll start filming. I'll, I'm going to end this recording, and then I'll be back once we get down to a really good health to potentially even kill it. There we go. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to just keep taking pot shots, and we'll be back once that's good. All right, so yes, you guys can tell we are getting really close, and I'm still able to not get this hitbox. On. But I mean, we're close. We're getting close. Uh, should there go a couple more hits, please? Please, one more, one more. No, no! Don't leave. Come back. And yeah, of course, of course, of course, we gotta end around more uh, Enderman. Uh, leave me alone, please. Goodness, this guy. These guys are just annoying. So annoying. Okay, um, and ouch. Uh, let's actually grab more. Oh, what? Am I not? Am I, not seeing, am I just collecting water bottles? Yes, I. This is. Uh, uh, <laughs> what a fight! What a fight! Honestly, look at how the health. Yeah. So as you can tell, got lots of water buckets or water bottles. Um, unfortunately. Um, let me get my water back. And oh, there we go. That's why I was not able to see that. Um, okay, yep, you're still angry. Please leave me alone. Um, okay, the dragon's right there, and this enderman is still annoying AF. You know what? Let's take a shot. Okay, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Free the end. The Ender Dragon is dead. And this stupid Enderman is not is here to ruin it for us. But yes, look at that. As you can see, all that experience. Please go away, sir. You die. Please die. I just want I just want my XP and my goodies. Please, 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 please. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, but yes, guys, we did it. We finally did it. Um, I'm really excited. Okay, there we go. And let's go grab our stuff. So I will say I am using... Uh, oh, let's actually clear our inventory a little bit. So much crap. So much stupid stuff. Okay, we don't need the water bottles. Um, don't need any of that. Oh, yeah, like I was going to say, I am using, I believe, a vanilla tool weeks where I, ha I believe if you kill the ender dragon you get an elytra um i'm not 100 percent sure let's yes so i am i am i am i am but yes we got our ender dragon head and the elytras very cool so now i can start flying freely um of course i will get this all enchanted and everything but yes um the egg the other important thing is the egg um and there we go. That's the other portal. We need to use that to go find more elytras and stuff or end cities. But let's go ahead and put our ender chest uh, let's on there. Yeah, let's put it on there. Okay, let's go. So we got our ender dragon head and an elytra. So usually an elytra won't won't drop with the upon killing a dragon. I just have it just in case that I don't find an end city and it's just uh, bad news bears all day. So, um, yeah, go ahead and just click on the egg and don't, don't mine it. Um, yeah, don't mine it. What you do want to do, though, is dig a block, two blocks underneath, and then place a torch and then remove that block. And like sand, voila. It'll just uh, pop off like sand and gravel. And there you go. And now we have ourselves a dragon egg as well. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, like I was saying, um, the vanilla tweaks does give me the electros upon defeating the dragon, just in case that you know finding an end city is terrible or not doesn't work or something like that. But there you have it. Uh, we have defeated the end dragon. We are victorious. Uh, we will go through that portal, not in this episode, maybe in this episode, but I want to find different elytras to make it more fit with the survival theme. But yeah, there we go, guys. We did it. We beat the end dragon. Um, I actually didn't use the beds, but let's go through. And here we have it. You can. So 
these are the end credits. Uh, you definitely be my guest if you've never seen it before. Definitely, yeah, I mean, might as well just watch it once for the experience. But I don't really want to go through it, so I'm just press escape. And okay, here we are. And I set spawn. And perfect. So yeah, we did it. So that is one step closer to having our world be closer to being, you know there so now that we have elytras it'll be good for us to fly around we'll probably create a creeper farm as well but yeah let's go back to base and figure out get a little organize our goods and everything and then we'll go from there but really happy with how this all turned out thus far Alrighty, so we are back at the barn house and yes so let's take a look at our goods we got a dragon head a dragon egg and our elytras thank goodness so yeah dragon head's pretty fun uh you can uh, put it on your head it does look ridiculous the size and everything so uh we'll probably put it up for um decoration somewhere and yeah but yes so the main thing though is our elytras finally and you can tell to tell i made the preparations for it but yes you take a piece of paper and i'm going to put gunpowder like so but the thing is so it says flight duration three if you take one obviously then so every time you add a different gunpowder it'll make it longer and so i usually like just doing flight duration three anyway so okay let's go ahead and so the best way to do this is jump and then light the rocket and watch you soar into the sky high Ooh, baby there we go. It feels good to have our light dress. Um, it's been a while, but really happy that we got it back in this world. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching and checking out this video. Um, it's been really fun. I really got I'm glad we got to go fight the Ender Dragon and do all that fun stuff today. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And as always, arigatou gozaimasu and sayonara.